Can you make your bike dirt proof? Imagine a bike where dirt and grime doesn't stick to it. A bike where the components and frame actively repel dirt because of the surface coating on them. Sounds a bit like science fiction, but it's not. This tech actually already exists and is commonly used in the automotive world to apply ceramic coatings to bodywork to help them keep cleaner. Now I've wondered, could you do this to a bike? So I'm gonna try it out on my much beloved Pinarello F12. And to do this, I've got hold of a couple of different products that we can try. So one of them is designed to be used on the frame, well, car bodywork, and another one is for car alloy wheels. And I figured it'd be interesting to see how that works on your chain set and cassette. Let's find out. Now the first step before I apply any of the coatings is to clean my bike. Admittedly, it is quite clean at the moment already, as it should be. But when you're applying these coatings, you've got to make sure that there's absolutely no dirt underneath to trap underneath the coating. You've got to be meticulous. So I'm going to go to town. Put a bit of drivetrain cleaner on, I'm gonna get this chain all immaculate as well. And my cassette and my chain rings too. And before any of you clever clogs back home watching this say, don't pressure wash your bike, well, World Tour Mechanics, the world over, pressure wash bikes every day and also Sai did a GCN Mythbusters video where he showed that pressure washing your bike didn't damage your bearing so I'm gonna pressure wash my bike. So now I've cleaned my bike, the instructions on here say dilute it by 110 with clean water in a foam or lance generating spray bottle. So that's what I've done here. This is gonna go into the pressure washer and then apply it to the wet uh, surface of your car, or in this case, bike. And then it says just leave it for one to two minutes and then rinse it off with a pressure washer. And it says rinse it off with a pressure washer as this is required to activate the coating. And uh, you can repeat it as well, apparently, and do more layers to build it up and make it even more dirt proof, presumably. So, right, let's give it a go. I'm bringing my car in tomorrow. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Better do both sides. Just have one side of the bike that's like filthy, the other side that's just like really clean. <laughs> Right, leave that a couple of minutes now, like it says in the instructions, and then blast it off with the jet wash to activate it. I mean, something that I've just come, I've never done this before, obviously. Now, I was thinking, oh yeah, I'll just apply that just to the frame. But uh, as you saw, the way the spray lance works, it's, well, it's gone everywhere. I mean, covered the entire bike. I couldn't really avoid that. Anyway, let's see what happens. So already you can see the beading on the paint here. Now, when people clean cars and they use these coatings and you get this beading on the water on, on, the, on the surface, they call those love beads. But uh, it looks like it's kind of working. It looks like there is some kind of coating on there already that's hydrophobic because of what it's doing with the little droplets of water. Oh, so look at all those little beads there. Right, try the other side. Now the instructions say that for maximum durability of the coating and to make it better, you can apply another coat. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just do one more coat of this.
Right, I'll give it a minute, then uh, activate this second layer. The lance. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 30 seconds is a long time, isn't it? So I've applied the second layer now. It looks proper cool. It's like all these little love beads on the surface like we get when you wash your car. And uh, it certainly suggests that there is a hydrophobic coating now on the frame. It'll be interesting to see how it holds up. But I'm going to head up into the tech set now and apply this product, which is an alloy wheel coating. It's a bit different, and I'm going to just apply it with an applicator onto the chain set and also probably the rear mech as well. And we'll see how that gets on. So for the wheel coating, which I'm going to use on the chain set, I'm going to read the instructions. It says apply four or five drops of this stuff in the bottle to this applicator and then apply evenly. And it says bonding begins immediately. Uh, remove excess within one to two minutes with a light wipe from a microfiber cloth and then leave it. Um, and it says don't contact wash for seven days uh, after you've put it on. And it says leave it for about two hours to dry. Let's give it a go. I'm just wiping off the excess now with a microfiber cloth. Right, so I've applied the ceramic coatings now. I've got to leave them for a couple of hours to kind of like cure and set or whatever it is they do. And then I'm going to take it outside in search of rain, bad weather, dirt and mud and just see how well they perform. Unfortunately, we live in the UK, which means bad weather is a rare occurrence. I may be waiting for several days before that, that happens. <sighs> the dirt-proof coatings on my bike should have cured by now, so I've come to my local park in search of mud to test them out. But if I'm going to do this properly, I need a control, a bike that's not been surface treated in any way. So fortunately, I've brought this along. Size, brand new Pinarello Dogma disc. But he's not even ridden yet. <laughs> yeah, probably, uh, probably don't tell him I'm doing, doing this with his bike, but I'm, ch I'm, I'm sure he won't mind. I've managed to find some mud. So here is what we're going to do. I'm going to ride both of the bikes back to back, up and down through this mini swamp until they're suitably covered in dirt. At which point I'm going to take them back to base and then wash them down. Now the theory is that my bike with its coating on, the dirt shouldn't bond to the surface. It should just drop off as soon as you spray it with a hose. So let's see if it actually works. I mean, size bikes probably going to get quite dirty um, his brand new bike that he's not ridden yet but it's in the name of science so i'm sure he'll understand Well, I think my bike's quite dirty now. Um, time to try size bike. Oh, I'm beautiful, beautiful. I've just cleaned it. For God's sake, it's better work. You may have noticed that size saddle height is a bit higher than mine, so yes, I know, the saddle's too high, but for this test, didn't have to adjust it. Be right. Yep, that worked, didn't it? Yep, 
Yep, that's dirty. First observations though, I mean the, the dirt is sticking to both of them, but there's definitely a lot less dirt stuck onto the down tube area of mine than there is compared to size. So, you know, I don't know what to read into that, but I think the main thing will be how easy that dirt washes off once we then blast it with the hose. So that's what we'll do next. I'm going to wash size bike first, just in the way that I normally would. And in theory, the dirt should stick to this bike more than the one that's been coated. But we'll see. So the mud has washed off really easily. Um, it's kind of what you'd expect. But interestingly, already visually, there's a bit of a difference. So you're not getting all that fine beading that I was getting on the wet treated bike. You can see the water is just sort of, it's just, you can just see it's visually different. It suggests that the surface of size bike, the untreated bike, is a lot less hydrophobic. It's just kind of normal. And also there's quite a bit of dirt left on the bike after I've washed it that well, once it dries, that's just going to stain and you're going to have some, some grimy marks on there. But like I say, most of the dirt has just washed straight off with the jet wash. Time for my bike. I'm excited to see what happens now. So let's go. So having washed the two bikes, the, the, the surface treatment on this is really evident. Like the beading again, you can just see all those little water droplets suggesting there is a really hydrophobic surface coating on there. It really is cool to see. And admittedly, the dirt kind of just dropped off both of them. There still is a bit of dirt residue left on this one and there isn't quite the beading suggesting that it's not quite as efficient, but I don't think this test is fully representative of real world conditions. That's because mud it, it is pretty water soluble, isn't it? It just drops off with water. The things that really get your bike dirty are oils and greases that you pick up on the road and also come from your drivetrain. And they're the things that create, you know, big smears and stains that are quite hard to remove without a degreaser. And that is where I think this kind of coating will be far more effective. It's been difficult, I haven't been able to fully replicate that today, but I think longer term, I'm gonna be interested to see how it holds up to those oils and greases. But uh, stay tuned for that, I'll hopefully give an update at some point. But in the meantime, I hope you found this video useful and informative, and let us know in the comments if you'd be interested in trying a hydrophobic ceramic coating yourself. I mean, I'm certainly gonna be keeping one on my bike, I think, in the future. I think. I think we could be onto something here, but I'll see you next time.